Hi, welcome to Pencil College. In this video, we'll be moving on to example number 5 of chapter 11.2. Okay, so in this example, we are asked to find the values of theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees such that sine of theta is negative 0 0.5 or negative half. Okay, so recall that for sine of theta to be negative, we must definitely, definitely be in our tangent or our cosine quadrant okay so how will i measure my theta okay so let me just show you this on the screen so from this point go in an anti-clockwise direction okay up to somewhere over here so as to enter our tangent quadrant okay so I'll, from here i will draw a right angle triangle okay and now this is my theta over here okay so for the first example, let me identify our alpha. So basic angle alpha is always measured with respect to the x-axis or the horizontal axis. And this red angle you see here is my angle alpha. Okay, how about the case whereby theta is in a cosine quadrant? Okay, so let me just draw it over here. So theta will go all the way up to it enters the cosine quadrant. Okay, this is my right angle triangle over here. Okay, so this is my angle theta. Okay, so for the second case, let me also identify my basic angle alpha. So for the second case, this is my alpha. Okay, so let's consider the two cases and also let's find our basic angle alpha. So to find basic angle alpha, okay, simply take the sine inverse simply take the sine inverse of this number on the right hand side of the equation but take note okay let me just emphasize that you will not take into account the negative sign okay so to find alpha take sine inverse of the number on the right hand side of the equation without let me emphasize without the negative sign okay so you punch this in your calculator so as to get alpha Okay, so if you press this in your calculator, alpha is simply 30 degrees. Okay, so make sure that your calculator is in the degree mode. Okay, so to find theta, there are two possible values. Okay, as we discussed in the first, in the first scenario, theta will be equals to 180 degrees plus alpha. Okay, and in the second scenario, theta is equals to 360 degrees minus alpha okay so 360 degrees minus alpha okay and then let's just sub in our values for alpha so 180 degrees plus 30 or 180 degrees sorry 360 degrees minus alpha okay and then keying this in our calculator we'll arrive at the final values which is 210 degrees or 330 degrees okay okay let's move on to example 5b okay so similar question find the values of theta between 0 and 360 degrees such that tangent theta is negative 1 okay so since the tangent of theta is a negative value we have to be either in the sine quadrant or the cosine quadrant okay because in the sine quadrant and the cosine quadrant, tangent theta gives us a negative value. Okay, if you have forgotten this, okay, please watch the earlier videos in 11.2, okay, so where I explain more of the ASTC diagram. Okay, so in the first example, to go into to move into the sine quadrant, okay, what I'll do, I'll start measuring theta from here all the way up to here. Okay, so this is my theta. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw in my right angle triangle. Okay, after, after a few of these videos, you realize that this is pretty uh, standard protocol. Okay, so this is my alpha over here. And as usual, I like to shape my basic angle alpha. Okay, moving on. Our second example over here, tangent theta is equals to negative uh, 1. Okay, and then uh, we are into the cosine quadrant. So theta goes like all the way into the cosine quadrant so this is my theta okay and as per usual let me just draw in the right angle triangle okay and then let me just shade in our alpha so this is alpha okay 
So the next step would be to calculate our basic angle alpha. So it's just simply taking the tangent inverse of the number on the right hand side of the equation without, okay, without the negative sign. So I'll be pressing this into my calculator. Tangent inverse 1. Okay, and if you press it in your calculator, tangent inverse 1 is simply 45 degrees. Okay, so recall that there are two cases, okay, or rather there are two possibilities for theta. So in the first possibility, in the first diagram over here, theta will just be 180 degrees minus alpha. And in the second scenario, theta will be 360 degrees minus alpha. Okay, so let me just sub in the values for alpha. Okay, and keying this into my calculator, I'll arrive at the final answer of 135 degrees or 315 degrees. Okay, so let's move on to example 5c. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Okay, for more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. See ya!